Hey, DM Scotty here poking out behind all these boxes from Dungeons and Lasers, okay? This is a new Kickstarter that's coming out, and I'm here to talk about, are these worth it? Do you, should you get on this Kickstarter, right? And uh, the, the, the answer <laughs> is much more complicated than yes or no. Okay, so we need to talk about some things uh, that you might consider when you buy this stuff. So, full disclosure, it's... <laughs> Whoops. Full disclosure, they did send me all this stuff, okay? So I've been sort of bribed <laughs> with all these goodies uh, to talk about it. But I'm going to tell you really what I think, uh, the good and the bad. So sit down, grab some popcorn, and let's discuss this. <laughs> okay, now I can breathe, all right? And you can see me. All right, cool. Uh, now, the only thing I got that was actually from the Kickstarter is this sewer set, okay? This is their new Woodhaven set that they're going to be doing, and this is the only item I got from it. But it's it's cool because it has clear plastic parts where the other ones don't. So they sent me a smattering of Dungeons & Lasers 1 and Dungeons & Lasers 2, all right? So let's talk a little bit about this one because this really is part of the Kickstarter. So there you saw that preview of what the terrain looks like and I must say it looks fantastic. It looks great. You can't really get beyond that. Uh, you know that it looks so fantastic it's going to look good at your table once you pick once you paint it up. But let's talk about a few things that I think you should really consider before you do. One is all of this stuff is very reasonably priced. You know, it's still going to be a, a, an outlay to get a lot of sets, okay? So you gotta decide whether you want to spend that. But with some other terrain options, you know, like there are more expensive terrain options out there. So I think this is a pretty good value for the money that you're gonna spend. I think, uh, you know, all in all, you're getting a lot for your money. So I think that's, that's a great thing to think about when you consider this versus other terrain. And if you want the other classic sets like, you know, Bits and Bobs and the, the regular dungeons and all that stuff, and they have sci-fi, uh, you can pick those up through the Kickstarter. So you can add that to your pledge. So that's very nice uh, that you can do that. You can grab that stuff. These days, there's so much to consider with terrain. Do you want to make it like we do, you know, totally from scratch? Do you want to 3D print it? Do you want to, like this kind of stuff, have it pre-made for you? And, you know, there's other stuff that's even, you know, further down where it's painted, pre-painted for you, which is very expensive. So this is kind of a nice middle ground, uh, but there's still work involved because you're gonna have to take all these off the sprues. You're going to have to paint them if you want them to look nice. So, you know, definitely, can, you don't have to, but I would definitely paint them. So you wanna consider that when you do that, when you do this. As far as painting goes, a nice spray of primer and you are good to go to add all your other colors and make these the, into the magic that will be your dungeons and layers for your players. One thing I like about these is that they are very, very modular, right? Uh, that is something I love and I totally use in my games. Uh, I really don't make it or use it unless it's modular. You know, I don't make a lot of just set pieces. I make some, but I generally love to, if I'm going to make it, I want it modular. And this stuff is modular in droves. That's fantastic about this. You can do all kinds of layouts, so that's great. Now here's the part where I'm kind of torn, and I'm actually torn on a lot of terrain. Because when I started doing this, I used a 2.5D method, which was short walls, because when you're sitting at the table, it's hard to see over walls when you're playing an RPG. So I avoid walls, and with my later tiles, I didn't even have walls at all. So I could make it, I could make a modular any way, way I wanted, and then you know not even worry about walls. I just put doorways or down and stuff like that. Well, these have walls. Okay, so. I am, I, I must say, you know me, if you know me, you know I'm not a fan of walls, all right? Now, that's fine, because these could still be useful. You could still just use them as tiles. You don't have to use the walls. Or what you could do is you could have a back wall that's towards the DM to give you a flavor of the room, but not walls around the whole circumference of the room so that the players can see. That's something to consider with this set. There are walls, 
but since it's so modular, you don't have to use the walls. Some, some things you buy or print are already printed with the walls. You can't avoid using the walls. But with this, you can. You don't have to use the walls, or you can use as many walls as you want, or partial walls, so it doesn't block the line of sight for the players sitting at the table drinking their Coke and eating their Cheetos. <laughs> but that is something to consider with this because half the set is walls, <laughs> okay? So if you don't want to use walls, you're paying for half a set of walls, <laughs> okay? So just keep that in mind, uh, you know, when, if you want to pick this up. I noticed that on the clear pieces for the sewer set, the plastic was a lot, was more brittle and was a lot less strong than the normal molded plastic. So there is that to consider. They did tell me that these are sets that are in development. So this may not be the final set, but keep that in mind. I think the, the clearer pieces were less hardy than the regular molded pieces. I would like to thank Dungeons and Lasers for their generosity and consideration in reviewing this product. I think a lot of my viewers would like these and I want to pass this on to you guys to see if it's something that could work for you and I think for a lot of you it really would be a nice addition to your terrain. The campaign for the Dungeons and Lasers Woodhaven uh, set 3 is over. The uh, Kickstarter was successful but uh, they're going to have late pledges so you can get on that. So I would go to the Kickstarter site, check out uh, Dungeons and & Lasers, and you can sign up on their own website to be notified when the late pledges activate and you can pick up your own. So check it out, guys.